Okay, Jude. OAC Wrestling. You know, you know what? You know what? We're OAC guys, wrestling guys. That's what we are originally. You know, and it's good to branch off into football. With football, one hand washes the other. You know, you've had Ronnie Baum. Ronnie Baum was state champ for you. He was pretty good at football. Yes. He was a good tailback, right? I remember playing football against him. But there's no question that one hand washes the other with football and wrestling. But we talk a little bit of football. Let's talk wrestling, okay? So um, you guys did me a favor. You got me a, a sectional at Kenston. It's three miles from my house. There you go. I'll get to cover that. And then um, some. for some reason, you guys all think I still live in Northwest Ohio. You gave O'Carver one, too, yeah. which doesn't really do me any good, but I'll go and cover it. But, okay. I'll do some visiting. Yes, I'll do some visiting with the family. But, you know, the sectionals. You're starting to roll the sectionals out, and they have grown. And the districts. That's another thing where they've been capped. It is the growth of OAC wrestling. Is, it, it, it's not done. No, it's it, not done yet, it, it, right? No, not a, the grade school has been increasing every year since, since uh, the first year. It just keeps getting bigger. Okay, talk to me about sectionals and districts and what you guys are doing. Kind of be the innovative and on the front end of being able to accommodate the large numbers that you guys have. Yeah, the big problem is, like you had mentioned, uh, there were six of the eight, I believe it was, that were sold out and some kids couldn't get in of the districts for grade school uh, last year and actually a year before that. And the other thing is you've got kids that normally go into these tournaments and there's like a round robin four or five kids they're walking into the district tournament and there's 30 kids in their weight class and that, that's not good for the kids um so what we thought we'd do is just start the sectional district format so that we'll cap the sectionals at so many per weight class and then uh, what, what can happen then uh the districts we can cap as well and still be able to get everybody in without somebody having to sit out and can't wrestle for the district so. so we're going to get some matches up they're not going to be going into a district not knowing what's going on not having enough experience right and, and also they got some uh, seating criteria for the following year you know if, if it's in a down year say you know, if it's a 12 and under and they're uh, the, ele- uh, the 11 year old sometimes uh, some kids might take that year off but now they have their seating criteria they're a returning uh, sectional placer that helps them for their year when they're on their on year they're Okay, so as far as divisional, this football championship right now is it's divisional. You're not putting Barnesville against Olin Tangi was the example I used earlier. Um, divisional grade school state championship, right? right? You're starting to put kids who are going to wrestle if they wrestle somebody in high school. You're putting them in the division there at Marysville, and now you're you're expanding that as well, right? right to Gahanna, right? Uh, or not so to Gahanna, but to Hilliard, Jerome. Jerome, right? So you're expanding that, right? Yes. Think about that and tell me what the vision behind that was and what the goal is. Well, we wanted to mirror what they're doing in high school just because that's the kids you're going to be wrestling uh, when you get there. So we wanted to let them have some uh, uh, camaraderie with their own school and also against the other school that they'll be competing against when they get in high school. And that's the idea of the whole thing. So, you know, you look at it, uh, they can go do that at the, the, the Medina or the Ironman where they can go cross divisional. But, like, in a state championship, St. Mary's is just not going to be wrestling against St. Ed's. Right. It's just not a thing. Right? right? It, we do divisional. We have, we have divisions, yeah. you know, based on your enrollment. Right. Right? And, and, and that's, that's the idea behind it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, exactly right. Um, you know, you got your bigger schools separated from your smaller schools, and, and that's, that's why we're doing it. All right. Looking at the wrestling championship, did you ever see it 98, 99? Over here in a middle school in Sandusky, yeah. did you ever see it growing into what it is today? Uh, yeah, um, not really. Um, actually, it was at the Jackson Athletic Center. That's what we called it. Uh, Jackson, it's just Jackson. the middle school. It's just Sandusky <laughs> Middle School. Jude, come on. Don't, don't, don't play on words to people who Jackson. don't know Sandusky. Come on, man. It was the Jackson Athletic Center for, for one weekend. <laughs> so... Uh, it sounded better than that. Uh, what was the know. what was the original numbers in ninety eight ninety nine? What were the original numbers you guys started with? I think it was like twelve hundred total kids. You had twelve hundred kids in your first. Right. right. Wow, that's it, still it, impressive, it, it, it man. Eleven hundred. Um, yeah, it was. We never even had any idea it would be that big, you know, that popular in the first year. Any any time you start something, you know, there's a growth it's a period of time that you have to grow it into it. And that uh, first year, we were just like, oh my goodness. You know, didn't, never imagined that many kids would want to wrestle in that tournament. And it's just gotten bigger and bigger every year. And I, we know the Cavelli's great for it and all, but like you guys are to the point where you're teetering a little bit, man. You, you could go bigger if you wanted to. I like Cavelli. 
It's 45 minutes from my house. I really like that. And it's a very nice facility. And, uh, you know, but you could go bigger. Yeah. Right? You could go bigger. You outgrew a Marion. Right. Right? You outgrew a lot of these. You outgrew Kent State. You outgrew these places. Right. So, Cavalli, I think we're, we're safe there for another two, three years, right? Yeah. But, but, you know, the gross there. The gross there, Jude. Yeah, we might have some work to do to find a place that can, can house what we're trying to do. Because uh, now with the freshman state, and, and hopefully next year we can uh, go with the freshman sophomore state and keep it, you know, increasing that and uh, bring more kids in. But like you say, if we keep doing that, we're definitely looking for another place. Girls division. Uh, girls too. It grew yeah. by 100 yeah. in a year. Yeah. Right? I could see another 100. It's just going to keep on. Going. It's only going to go higher, yeah. right? The popularity grows. Yeah, especially when they, the ones that were here and got that taste of being on that big stage, they're spreading the word. So yeah, it's, no question. It's a big deal. All right, million dollar question. How much longer can Jude Roth do this? Uh, I will last at least till the end of this interview. <laughs> okay. You're, you're not going to answer my question. I like that. All right. All right. You got anything, <laughs> you got anything else for me? No. I, thanks for the time you put in the, the sport and all the all the kids and everything I appreciate that all right hey keep grinding um i will be periodically tracking you down at sectionals and district you can run but you can't hide i will get you thank you for the time keep grinding all right, all right.